Hey guys, a word about the presets. Presets on the Deform tab. On the Deform tab you'll find several tools like Soft Move, Soft Drag, Shear, Soft Selection Move, Soft Selection Rotate, Soft Selection Scale and Soft Selection Transform. So I have a sphere over here. When you go to the Deform tab you'll find tools like Element Move, Flex and over here you have soft move, soft drag, shear, soft selection transform. When I right click you have move, rotate, scale, transform. Now what's so special about them tools? Well actually they're just presets. That means they're actually tools which you find in the basic tab like transform, move, rotate and scale combined with Select uh, with falloffs and action centers. Let me give you an example. When you select a soft move, now when I click and drag, you'll see a radial falloff appearing. So when I can adjust this radial falloff, but this is actually just the move tool, short uh, the shortcut key W combined with radial falloff. Let me show you. So I'm selecting move and falloff radial. So now I can do exactly the same as I did when I selected I think it was the soft move. Yep. And the same goes for the, the other tools. Soft drag on the deform tab is actually just a transform tool, shortcut key W, with the screen fall off. The shear, exactly the same, the move tool with a linear fall off. So I'm going to drop the tool, basic W, press this icon or W for the for the move tool. Now when nothing is selected in Modo, everything is selected, so the move tool. Now when I want to shear this, I set my fall off to linear. And now when I press the blue handle, you see a shear. So it's just the move tool with a linear fall off. Exactly the same for soft, soft selection move. It's uh, the transform tool with the soft selection fall off and action center selection, action axis selection. So again, I'm gonna drop the tool, deform tab. Soft, when you right click on this, you can choose move, rotate, scale and transform. So right now my fall off is, okay, I'm gonna start up for a moment. Sorry about that. Uh, with the soft selection move I have to make a selection. Uh, you can see in the tool pipe that there uh, is an action center to set to selection, actions access set to selection and a soft selection fall off. Uh, personally over here in show weight in the soft selection fall off section you can by default it shows vertex and it shows edge. Personally I like to choose one of the two, it's better for visibility. Um, so the soft selection move is just the move tool with a soft selection fall off, action axis set to selection and action center set to selection. If I want to change my fall off I can choose the fall off in the tool pipe, right click and interactively set the fall off. And the same goes for the rotate, the scale and the soft selection transform. The soft selection transform and I'm having a crash I believe. Okay sorry about that, Modo crashed on me. So I was uh, saying that if you want to change the fall off you can select the selection fall off in the tool pipe and right click and interactively set the radius. 
I'm going to drop the tool. Uh, I'm going to select, uh, select the. Oh yeah, what I wanted to say was uh, the difference between the move tool. With the move tool, you only get transform handles. When you select the transform tool, you get move, rotate, and scale options. So again, interactively setting the fall off. And as I've explained earlier, if you want to, ah, it's already set to select true. This means that I can interactively select new components to make another selection. This is because it's the tool pipe, the, 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 the tool in the tool pipe is set to auto activate and to select through so I can make so the tool pipe, very important, as I've said in other videos, make sure to watch the video by Andy Brown, understanding the tool pipeline, very powerful. It lets you take common move, rotate, scale and transform them into presets which you can save. So instead of using the soft move, the soft rack, the shear, and these guys over here, I would suggest if you're new to Modo to pick these tools and combine them with action centers and fall off and that way you learn more about these tools. Hope you find this useful and bye for now.